But first, we really look at it as a, a larger puzzle to try to solve together. How Cedar Rapids is working to keep residents in every neighborhood safe. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joy Howe. Thanks for being with us. Scott is off tonight. A Cedar Rapids program has been working to improve the city for two years now, but some people still don't know how to use it. Fox 28 News reporter Dora Miller met with Safe CR and explains what they do and how it impacts the city. Dora. Well, Joy, first off, Safe CR stands for Secure and Friendly Environments for Cedar Rapids. They deal with issues that violate city codes. For 20 years, Flo Lona has lived on 16th Street in Cedar Rapids. It's been good. Earlier this year, though, it wasn't. This summer, that house on the corner over there, that was nothing but trouble. You'd see the cops coming, the ambulance coming. She says that house caused headaches for her, so much so she put up a fence to keep the trouble out of her yard. But the house and the activities surrounding it changed once Safe CR stepped in. Our goal is always compliance. So we want the you know, neighborhoods to be safe and clean um, and, and liv livable for everybody. People like Amanda Greider from Safe CR take anonymous phone calls about city code violations. It can be anything from tall grass, uh, trash in your yard, to excessive police calls for service. So you couldn't call and make false complaints. We're always investigating those and making sure that they're, you know, valid complaints. Greider says it's a team effort to make sure everyone is comfortable in their own home. We really look at it as a a larger puzzle to try to solve together um, with several different departments rather than just one at a time or individually. Because Cedar Rapids would never like this. Never, never, never. It's changed a lot, but now it's changing back again. So I'm safe. And this block is real safe too. 